morning and welcome back to the next class of theory of computation in the previous class we have discussed about the definition of deterministic finite automata its presentation in transition diagram and transition table in today's class we are going to discuss about the acceptance of a string by deterministic finite automata for any string to be accepted by the deterministic finite automata the finite automata must start in initial state and read the complete string after reading complete string if the automata ends in a final state then the string is said to be accepted by the deterministic finite automata can be represented as delta of q0 comma w derives to qf this means that when the automata starts in q0 and reads the complete string w it reaches a final state qf then the string w is accepted by the finite automata for showing acceptance of string by deterministic finite automata some transition rules are used Considering x be a string for sigma, where a belongs to sigma and cap is a null input, then a transition delta q on cap derives to q. This means that on any input uh, which is invalid or uh, a null input on any state q, the automata stays in the same state. The another rule is delta of q comma x a derives to del of delta of delta q comma x comma a. This means that the the automata transit from state q on input x and reaches a particular state and from that state it again reaches a and go to some other state similarly delta of q comma a derives to delta comma delta of q comma a comma x this means that the automata in q reaches a symbol a goes to some other state and from that state it reaches the string x and goes to some other state. consider the given deterministic finite automata and show the state transition on the input string ab abb so accepting or rejecting this string the automata must start from the initial state q0 and read the string one symbol at a time at the each clock pulse so when in q0 the input So the string a b a b b is given as input. So in q zero, the automata first reads the a. So in q zero, when a is the input, the automata transits the state q one and moves the input at one step to the right. So this new state is q one, and in this state, the finite control is pointing to the symbol b. In q one, if I get a p, the transition is to state q f. In QF, the next input is A, so it again goes to QF and moves the input read rate one step to the right, pointing to B. In QF, when we get B, the transition is to Q1, and in Q1 again we get a B that takes the automata back to F. So here we have seen that the automata started in the initial state, it traverses complete string, and finally it reaches the final state QF. So this string. A B A B B is accepted by the deterministic finite automata. Consider another string A B A B A. So again, showing the transition on this string for the given finite automata, we start from the initial state and read the input one symbol at a time. So in Q zero, first input is A. So the automata changes the state to Q one and moves the read read one step to the right, pointing to B in Q one. In Q1, by reading B, the automata transit to F and move the input at one step right on A. In QF, when A is the input, the automata transit to F itself and move the input at one step to the right. In QF, on getting B, the automata changes the state to Q1 and moves the input at one step to the right. In Q1, when the automata gets A, it goes to state Q0. Here. Automata again started from the initial state, just traverses the complete string, but at the end it is not reaching the final state. It is in some intermediate state. So this particular string A B A B A is rejected by the given finite automata or deterministic finite automata. So for any string to be accepted by the deterministic finite automata, these two conditions must be satisfied. In the next class, we will look at more example. on deterministic finite automata thank you